Okay, I'm running at, uh, hmm. It's, uh, well, the power is dropping off fast. That control really doesn't like doing that, that many watts. I had it running, at, it was running at 750 watts, and then it sort of, uh, yeah, it just starts bleeding off. It, the voltage, it's a 24 volt uh, trolling motor. It doesn't really like the higher voltage. Uh, this is a 10 cell lithium uh, pack. So it starts at 42 volts. I couldn't even get over like, I don't know, 350, 400 watts to start with. And then it just, well, I'll show you what it does. I'll try to go a little faster than this. I don't think it's gonna wanna do much more than this. That's almost 800, didn't really change. There's 1,050. That changed. So you can see in the shade here a second. Yeah. So oh just no wind. Perfect for a test. This is the most I've gotten out of it for this long. I was trying 900 watts a few minutes ago. The voltage was a little higher. Now it's under 35 volts and doesn't seem to mind it so much. So I'm going to be testing this as the battery drops. It can only go to about 30 and then it's going to totally kick out. Um, but I'm trying to see what I can, what voltage will run, let's say a thousand watts like I'm doing right now what voltage uh, would do that. Make a nice little wake. Let me, let me turn into my wake. Yeah, made a little wake. Not really going that fast, maybe four miles an hour at the most. Um, still, I would like to be able to put a thousand watts like I'm doing. And you probably can't see that, but I'd like to be able to put uh, a whole thousand watts and, and be able to go without it kicking out. It's doing it now, so. I guess I need uh, under 35 volts, you know, 35 volts max. Let me uh, crank it up a little more. All right, there's 1200 watts almost. It's 1185, slightly faster. Oh, there it went. Let me turn that off. Yeah, that's what it does. Uh, oh no, I tripped the I tripped the actual breaker, 60 amp breaker, and I was pulling uh, what? What would I've been pulling at 35 volts? Uh, 30 amps would be well, like 1050. So yeah, I was pulling 31, 32, 33 amps. I don't know. It doesn't like. This this breaker trips around. It says 60 on it, but it trips around um, uh, 30. I don't know if that's due to heat or 
faulty breaker, but it like it, it'll do thousands. So let me just stick with that for a minute. See if it wants to go now that it's got hot. Oh, I got to turn the breaker on. All right, we're going 570. Not a huge difference from the, the higher power. So, I mean, I want to be able to run at 1,000, but I don't want to run at 1,000 because that will just um, drain the battery and not be much faster. So, let's see if it can handle 1,000 for longer. That's 9.75. Just gonna run it at that for a little while and see if that gets hot enough to trip the breaker. It's running at 28 amps right now, and that's it's under 30, so maybe you know maybe like 30 is the bad number. My coolant. I got a coolant uh, pump run it on the uh, control down there so that keeps control cooled off anyway that's what I'm doing I I, ha I did a speed test with uh, 12 volt trolling motor and um, the uh, uh, I, I got it on board here there it is right here it's a it's a 45 pound Minn Kota and the one I'm running right here right now that's a 12 volt and the one it's on right now is a 80 pound uh, Riptide. That's an Enduro Max 45. So I I did a I did a speed test. You can kind of see sort of there. I'm gonna gather the or decipher the data, and then I will post that in the comments or not in my comments, but under the video, I will post the results of that. Basically, in a nutshell, um, I want to run 500 watts or less, and at that rate, I'm going to be able to do about four miles an hour. And it really doesn't matter which trolling motor I use. Actually, that one, the 12 volt, seems to be a little bit faster um, and more efficient. So, but it's still close. It, basically, 100 watts gets you X amount of speed, 200 watts gets you X amount of speed. No matter what you're doing, it's just a matter of, like, that control doesn't like, say, 30 volts. It's a 24-volt system. It doesn't like 30. So when I push 30 through it, um, it's designed for 24. So it doesn't want to run efficiently at 30. And that's Well, that's my theory anyway. Uh, it had better results at 24 volts than it did at 30. I guess because it's engineered for 24. Uh, that one, I ran it at 18 volts and I ran it at 12 volts. And they were, um, well, let me look real quick. I think they were pretty much identical. Um, 12 volt, I kind of got, uh, started with three or four, five, I've got the seven with the 18 volts and three or four to start with, five or six. And got a little bit less at with 12 volts than it did with the 18. Um, so maybe, maybe the 18 volts would be better for the 12 volt. I mean, as far as um, top end. Well, that's, I, I know why that is. The uh, 12 volt, uh, battery it would only run 382 watts maximum I got some long cables as you can see I've got long cables for the batteries so it's very inefficient that way so I'm not able to get all the amps to the um, motor I think because I've ran that and, and it, I was able to get 480 watts with that 12 volt on on 12 volts so anyway that's why I only got 382 uh, over here oh no, not that one. So over here, 
I ran, um, I got a little faster, but you can see I was, it was over a hundred Watts more. It, um, I was eight, because I was running at 18 volts, I was able to get the amps, the Watts higher, higher. So running at 500 Watts, I got higher, but basically the numbers are kind of the same. Three, four, four, five, 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 six, three, four, four, five, 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 six. So the one through 400 are pretty much the same. Uh, it, the, the 18 volt battery just allowed me to get a, top, a higher top end. That's really all that happened there. And then it, like I said, it ran faster than the, this one here that I've got on right now. So that could be just the prop to motor ratio, that sort of thing. Just the better, more efficient prop. Although it had, that one, the 12 volt has a three uh, blade prop, which is usually less efficient. This one I'm running right now has two blades, but it was, um, it was the lesser. So I guess I better shut this video off. It's getting long. Oh, no, oh, that's pretty. Let me do a loop here. My, my wake's cool. Anyway. I'll put all that stuff below the video as far as my findings, but that's the gist of it. Um, looks like this one likes under 35 volts. It actually probably like, well, actually, let me go ahead and tell you. When I was running 30 volts on the on this motor, uh, I had I got I've got golf cart batteries under there. I've got like six, no, five golf cart batteries under there. So I've got 30 volts that I was able to test with. Um, well, it did run 800 watts, no problem, but it did trip on the 1,000 watts. Um, it tripped, uh, getting bright. It tripped definitely on the, the 1,200 watts. That was um, 40 amps, and it tripped on 32 amps. You can see the different volts and amps. It, um, you know, the volts with the different with a higher load, the volts drop. So the amps, if you were going by amps, it's it really you got to go by watts. And that's what's cool about this meter. Oh. Can't get it. Yeah, it's got all of it. It's got the. Um, and the lower right, it's a, like a battery, or like a fuel gauge. It'll tell you how much power you got left in the in the battery if you know what size it is to start with. Well, anyway, I'm blabbering. I'm just going to log off and do like I said.